So to Savvy and Nate, may your marriage be filled with grand adventures and simple pleasures. I pray that you would embrace the journey of life, help each other up the mountains, hold each other in the storms, walk hand in hand along the quiet streams, find rest in the meadows. Know that you are stronger together than you are apart. Dream big, pray often, and love always. When he told me he was dating Savvy, uh, and we made a plan to meet her for the first time, I was a bit skeptical. Um, I wasn't sure what we were walking into. I wasn't sure um, who this girl was that my brother was apparently just infatuated with. Um, and so Patrick and I met them for breakfast. And as soon as we saw Savvy, she ran up and gave me the warmest, most genuine hug. And from that instant, I was your biggest fan. So Savvy, I could not be more thrilled for tomorrow and to officially call you my sister. Guys, your wedding is a joyful celebration. It's an event you dreamed about, you've planned for, you've anticipated it for months. A marriage, however, is no event. Today, you're beginning a journey that will change you forever and for the better. Nathaniel, I have been staring at this card for a good hour trying to figure out how to put everything that I am feeling into words. I cannot believe this day is here, so I'm going to start and end this letter the exact same way. I love you. I feel ridiculously blessed to have found a love that transcends and grows despite state lines, law school, and pageants. Growing up, I was convinced that I wouldn't be able to find someone who would know me fully and still love me more than I can comprehend. Nathaniel, before you even asked me, I was yours and devoted to you in every way. You are my person in every shape of the word. And let's be honest, I was fully and wholly yours from the first moment that I met you. You are my counterpart and you are the head to my heart. I cannot wait for the rest of our lives. Obvious, but I want it to be noted, I was bawling the entire time I was writing this. I am forever yours. I miss you. I kiss you. I love you. Now let's go get married. I'm excited to live every second of this life with you by my side. You help me see the world for the beautiful place that it is, and I can't imagine living my life any other way. You are my best friend. This sounds cliche, but I don't care. It's true. You make me smile, laugh, love, dream, and feel more than anyone else I have ever met. And I know this will only grow with age. I've never been more honored to make a promise in my life, a promise to love, I promise to lead, and I promise to cherish every moment that I get to spend with you by my side. Savvy Shields, you are my person forever, and I love you more than I could ever possibly hope to express in this letter. Now let's go get married. Looks so pretty. <laughs> well, look at you. I missed you. I missed you too. How are you? I'm good. You good? Yeah. <laughs> Getting married today. I know. Yeah. Yeah. You excited? <laughs> good. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. You believe it's happening? Yeah. Yeah, you can. I'm in a wedding dress. Well, you are in a wedding dress. I guess that kind of tips it off. <laughs> We're getting married. I know. <laughs> oh, jeez, Savvy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why am I crying? <laughs> that little girl's getting all married. Aww. Sweetie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
We knew she was very tender hearted because one night she cried for two hours after watching just 10 minutes of the documentary March of the Penguins. We also knew that she was strong because I once put her in timeout and she got this very determined look on her face and she looked at me and yelled, you can't do this to me, I'm really important to you. And finally, when I see her interact with everyone she meets, I see her kindness and it makes me so very proud. Savvy, babe, I love you <laughs> beyond measure. You'll always be my best girl. But tonight we are also celebrating Nate and welcoming him into our family. Nate, we've been so impressed with you right from the very beginning. Karen and I spent a lot of time praying for our kids and their spouses, but we never thought God would bring us some, someone as amazing as you. All of the experiences that we had together, there was one common thread through that, and that was Nate. I remember distinctly sitting backstage at Miss America. Her one thought was, I wonder what Nate's doing. And I remember going to award shows, and she's like, let me take a picture and send it to Nate. The one common thread was you, Nate. And at that moment, I realized that home was no longer a place for her, that it was a person. Because we've joined together in a covenant before God, and these friends, I pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you to give you peace. For God is joined together. Let me remain separate. Nay, you may kiss your bride. Well, everyone, I would like to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Nate Wolf.